Now we are going to add the active function to the form. And first thing we need to do is when you click the pen icon, it should get the ID of this document. And if you remember, when you click on the icon, you can see there is a edit test pop up from the test content. And when you click on the delete icon, it will pop up the test delete. So we have to back to the item container and check whether the test content is added. And first we are going to create the update ID. So it will store the ID to this variable when the user click on the pen icon. So now we are going to check if the test content is equal to edit. Then the update ID is equal to this attribute. So now if we console.log the update ID, and now if we click on the icon, it get no. This is because we haven't added the attribute at this edit icon. So we also need to copy this and paste this to the edit icon. Now if we refresh and click on the button, you can see the ID of each document. Now we already get the ID so we can go to make the put request when the user click on the update button. Now we already have the ID of edit form. So we can use this and then use dot on submit. And then the first thing is we prevent the default action which is reload the page. And then we let the data is equal to new form data. And then we pass the edit form. The form data interface provides a way to easily construct a set of key values pair representing the form fields and also their values. So we can, in order to see the data, we can type like this. And then we type apple. And then we type 12. And then click update. You can see this key values pair. And these things is just for you to look at the data inside. So we do not need to care about this. Now, after we already has the data, we are going to make the put request. So we are going to use the async await. And then we let the response is equal to await and fetch items. And then we use the method is put and the headers. And actually we may copy from this documentation and I will also put it in the link. And this is how to post the data with a content type in this form. So we can copy this body and headers and then we replace this. After we get the response, we can let the result is equal to a wage response.json. And after we already update the values, we can reset the form. And also we can refresh the page. And now we can see whether we can update the form first. So we back to the web page and refresh. Now we go to edit the phone one. We try to correct this to Apple and make the price to 100. And then we click update. Now you can see it already updates the values. So now what we can do is, and in order to let the user know it already updates successfully, we can use alert and then we put the results dot message. And because if you look at this, you can see our object properties is message. So we have to put the results dot message here. So now if we refresh the page and if we click on edit and then we click on this as the phone again, 
and then maybe phone 5 the price is 500 and click update you can see it update successfully and you can see inside the index page it already changed the most updated items 